you want to be mindful about your morning butter coffee and thinking, is this something that is hampering or helping my goals? It's morning, we're bright and shiny, smiles on our faces, we're ready to attack the day. And one of the things that a lot of people like to do is start the day with a warm morning beverage. And we have this tremendous movement toward the high fat coffee as seemingly mm -hmm. a fundamental component of keto or primal and paleo mm -hmm. living. Now there seems to be some controversy about whether you need to do this or not. There's not a ton of nutrition mm -hmm. when you're adding a bunch of oil to a, a, a coffee, but um, you're uh, an enthusiast of it and you have some particular opinions about it. You're going to show us how to make it. What do you think? So I'm very sensitive to the argument that it's not nutritious and I agree with that. Although we'll talk in a second about some things you can do to make it more of a breakfast item instead of a just fat bomb item. On this other hand though, I do feel like one of the challenges for a lot of people eating a keto diet is figuring out how to get enough calories that they're not stressing out their body. Um, and that you know, when you want to add calories, you're gonna be doing it through fat. And you can do this through salad dressing, through mayonnaise, through cheese, you know, but you can also do it through adding oil and butter to your coffee. And I don't see this being hugely different. So I do think that you want to be mindful about your morning butter coffee and thinking, is this something that is hampering or, or helping my goals? And so if your goals are to eat sufficient calories, and to you know, maybe wait to have your first real meal till later in the day, or to break a habit of having a sugary coffee in the morning, you know, that may be a place for it in your daily routine. For me, I like it because I'm sensitive to not going too low on my calories because I'm doing endurance training. I'm in the middle of marathon training right now. And so I have to make sure every day that I have sufficient calories. And so for me, it fits into my daily routine. If I was someone who wanted to be eating in a deficit, to be losing weight, I wouldn't necessarily recommend a 300 calorie coffee in the morning in place of something that had real nutrient density. So it really kind of depends in my mind and how much room you have in your daily routine for supplementary fat. But all of us who are eating keto are gonna be worried about getting enough fat to get enough calories. How much is an individual difference? Well, the other category I think for a person that might want to want to get into this is trying to transition away from carbohydrate dependency mm -hmm. as the desperate and most important primary goal. Mm -hmm. So if this is going to carry you along for a few hours where you don't want to reach for your energy bar or skip that orange juice in the morning, um, then we have this you know satisfying coffee. Mm -hmm. Let's see how to make it. Okay. So let me just give you some options. I'm about optionality. One thing I do think is really important, and this is my number one most used, most beloved kitchen tool is I use an immersion blender to make mine. You can do it in a regular blender, but honestly, if I could only have one kitchen tool ever again, it would be my immersion blender. I use it for so many things. So immersion blender, I'm gonna pop it off for a second so it doesn't topple over. Um, and then really after that, what you're looking for is your hot beverage, which can be coffee, it can be green tea, it can be dandelion root coffee, it can be a mushroom coffee. You can kind of use anything you want. I'm gonna use regular coffee. Um, and then fat. Fat can come from coconut oil or coconut milk. It can come, this is unsalted butter. I know some people use, or some people use salted butter, but no, gross, I would never do that. Um, MCT oil, there are lots of brands of MCT oil. Um, if you don't know what MCT oil is, it is basically um, just the medium chain triglyceride fats from coconut or palm fruit oil. The reason that most people who do fatty coffee in the morning use MCT oil is because MCT oil is metabolized differently than other types of, of oil, even like the more complete coconut oil. So it goes directly to the liver and gets metabolized and is shown to boost ketone production compared to other types of fat that need to go through the lymphatic system. So hashtag science there. So MCT oil, like I said, lots of brands out there. Some people like to do uh, C8 MCT oil, which is even like a further refined type of MCT oil. And then flavoring. So you can use um, vanilla, like vanilla extract. You can use cinnamon or any other spices. Um, we talked in another video recently. Sometimes I add almond milk just because I like the little bit of almondy flavor. Um, and then what I do to make it more of a meal, so I do these, uh, do this a lot on mornings before I do my long runs, is you can add an egg, and I'll show you how to do that in a second, and you can add protein. 
powder. You can also add um, just regular like plain cocoa powder if you want to do a little bit of like chocolate without a bunch of calories. So again, there are no rules about how to do this. If you want to track it, I really recommend you use a kitchen scale. Again, this is something that it depends on how much you want to get into tracking, but kitchen scale, immersion blender, jar. So here's what I do to add eggs. And this is kind of the only trick that's really worth noting. Egg into jar. What you don't want is scrambled egg coffee. So into the jar goes the egg and whatever fats you're gonna use. So let's do a little bit of butter. And let's do, let's say, I don't know, a tablespoon of MCT oil. And again, I'm only measuring if I'm tracking. You do not have to measure, but because MCT and other types of fats can add up really quickly, I like to measure. Let's throw in some primal fuel. I don't use a ton of primal fuel. Like I do maybe like two thirds of a scoop because it can get thick. And I'm probably not gonna stop at one coffee, honestly. So there you go. And then let's just do some almond milk to thin out the primal fuel. Again, we are not talking rules here. We're talking about whatever. So now you have all your additives in here. Not weighing right now. And you're gonna blend it first. And the reason you're gonna blend it first is to get the egg not so eggy. So now you basically have a chocolate egg, chocolate fatty egg, butter egg. And then I'm just gonna pour in the coffee. This is obviously hot and it will melt the fat further, but it will not cook the egg at this point. Just let it froth up nicely here, trying not to slosh over, which I do almost every day I slosh it over, so. And we have a recipe similar to this in the book for, in the Keto Reset Diet book for a keto protein mocha. Mm. Um, and it's basically this, but again, like we were talking about some of our other videos, I'm not big into measuring or recipe following. I just like to throw stuff together. And the one thing I like about eating this way is everything tastes really good and it's kind of hard to mess up. So, so you can kind of see this like nice layer of froth at the top. It's super creamy. It is very rich. So for me, I'm gonna split this into two cups of coffee. So I'm just gonna pour half of it into my coffee and then I'm just gonna top it up with black coffee on top. But you can totally pound it. And there you go. 